Action Action. My name is John, and each week we watch a movie to decide where it ranks on our ultimate list of the greatest action movies of all time. This week, we have a guest, and he picked Predator. Directed by John McTiernan, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers, Bill Duke, Jesse Ventura, and Shane Black. A team of commandos on a mission in a Central American jungle find themselves hunted by an extraterrestrial warrior. In a part of the world where there are no rules. We pick up their trail at the chopper, run them down, grab those hostages before anybody knows we were there. What do you mean we? Deep in the jungle, where nothing that lives is safe. You lose it here. You're in a world of hurt. Showtime, Jen. Knock, knock. An elite rescue squad. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> is being led by the ultimate warrior. We need the best. That's why you're here. But now... Let's get Billy so spooked. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. They're up against the ultimate enemy. Holy mother of God. Nothing like it has ever been on Earth before. She says the jungle just came alive and took him. We cannot see it. <laughs> blood no bodies we hit nothing but it sees the heat of our bodies and the heat of our fear whatever it is out there killed hopper and now it wants us it kills for pleasure he will skin the lion it hunts for sport he's killing us one at a time we're all gonna die but this time it's picked the wrong man to hunt if it bleeds we can kill it to action action with me as always is dustin and james and we have a special guest uh from the retro craptacular podcast it's uh aaron dawson aaron hey how's it going hey man thanks for uh thanks for coming out thanks for being here thanks for picking predator oh my pleasure that was a good choice yeah yeah so usually we start off with uh what people have been doing reading watching playing so watch anything interesting this week uh yeah, I like I binged all of the end of the fucking world in like one day, and it was excellent. Yeah, we've been brought that up I think for the past month. How many, <laughs> yeah, how many episodes are there? It's only like eight or nine episodes, but like the first one's like not even twenty minutes long. Like oh, okay. it's it's really. I think they're all about twenty minutes. I yeah. think I've only actually watched four of them. I've only watched two, and I was the first one to watch it. I stalled out like right away. <laughs> I've watched five, I think. Yeah, I just got interested in other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I just I blew through it in yeah, one sitting, I, basically, my, and Diana, it was great. My, my wife did it in the same in one sitting. She watched every single oh, right. episode. I haven't yeah. watched a show in one sitting in a while. Oh, well. And I have it's more time than you guys. It's, you know, I was going to say, it's because your life's so busy. It's not. It is. I'm watching <laughs> yeah. other things. Maybe we got shit going. It works out to be like just like sitting down and watching a movie, pretty much, because it's, it's so short. Every episode just yeah. goes real fast. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm, and it's good. It's good, yeah. I really like it. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> I mean, I sat through all of it. Yeah, but well, I don't know. Sometimes maybe you get like most of the way through, and you're like, "Well, I'm already here." So yeah, I gotta finish. Oh, I yeah. gotta finish. The, that's the lost effect. Oh god. Yeah. The lost leader. No, no, no lost. Is it lost? Is that what it's called? Well, the show or lost. Oh, the show lost. Said, that's the lost oh, effect or, when you get you get so far into a show where you're like, "I just have to finish yeah. this thing." Battle right now. Galactica. Yeah. Oh no, I gave up on that one. Yeah, oh, I, I gave yeah. up on that one. I mean, that, was that still ended... I mean, it ended not great, but it ended better than Lost. I'll tell you that. That was... Yeah, that was before I gave up on things. Now I've given oh, up, I give, I give up on things all the time things. now. I'm getting better at it. You have to, though. There's so much shit out there that if something's not good I, yeah. within three or four episodes, I'm moving on to something else. I can't fit in Columbo reruns and watch <laughs> fucking <laughs> True Blood. It's harder though when something starts good and then it starts to get bad and you're like sticking with it, like hoping it gets good again. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. True Blood. Something Means. I didn't give up on was I finished Happy finally. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah. Nice. Which is awesome. Yeah, that's great. It's so good. <laughs> it's so great. Yeah. The second to last episode is like bananas yeah that yeah, was really good have, I you, start, have you seen that I haven't John keeps telling me oh, that okay. I need to watch it yeah but it's eight, only yeah. eight episodes eight, yeah. eight episodes yeah it's good 
That's yeah. pretty doable. I wish the the Netflix Marvel shows did that. Where they're oh, that I, was like thirteen episodes yeah. and they're so fucking I, I, long. I don't finish them anymore because they are way too drawn out I've and just like it. filler episodes. Like I never finished Luke Cage, even though I liked it. But I was like, uh, I just. And then it's, I didn't even bother with Defenders and Iron Fist and all that shit. It's almost like a, a network show. Like a show that's on like a major network. Like they yeah. draw shit out all the time. I don't know why mm. they would do that. On, well, uh, they have to have a certain uh, amount of episodes they have to fulfill. But on Netflix, you have the freedom. You could say, we don't have yeah, to write yeah, that's 12 I mean. episodes. We could do like eight. A, like a really tight eight episodes would be perfect. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. Tight eight. Mm-hmm. I like it. <laughs> I watched a show that Dustin turned me on to called Counterpart. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fucking great. Um, yeah, I think yeah. I've only watched the first two episodes. Oh, okay. That's, they're really, really great. And I started watching Altered Carbon as well. Oh, how's that? A lot of fucking nudity. Oh, so it's great? <laughs> yeah. Like, it is a, it's a shocking amount of nudity in that show. Hmm. Is, it, yeah. is it like trying to go for like an HBO kind of thing? No. No? It's no. It's just okay. gratuitous? Yes. It's, you know, it's, it's well, yeah, it, like, it's, they're creating a world where there's so much nudity that you, like, you, it's part of. Like, I'm pretty sure it's by design to make it just, like, it's a part of, like, the atmosphere of the time. Um, like, it hmm. it becomes just what it, what, oh, there's nudity everywhere. I mean, I'm sure it's, like, the same way a person from, like, the 20s would be surprised. So, so with, do you like, think it, does it serve a purpose, or is it just? I don't know if I'm deep enough into the show to know that. It's hmm. definitely creating an atmosphere. <laughs> That's for sure. A naked atmosphere. There's a lot, of, a lot of naked, a lot of violence, a lot of blood, a lot of people getting killed. Is, any, is it any good? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, yeah it's got uh, what's the guy's name from The Killing? Oh yeah, Suicide uh, Squad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Joel, Joel McKinnon. Joel yeah. Kinnaman. Kinnaman. Yeah. yeah, except for he doesn't look like him. He looks like he's got fifty pounds of muscle packed onto his like neck and face. <laughs> Like it, it, like, it looks like a completely different person. I don't know how you do that. I don't, I don't know. We need to find out. We need to call Joel up. He did the, he did the, his work he did the, Mac, is. the Mac diet yeah. from uh, Sonny. But he, yeah, he's, like, yoked out. Hmm. <laughs> did any of you guys watch Bright? Yeah. No, I never got that. I watched that piece of shit. What did you, what did you think? You it's it? garbage, yeah. yeah. I mean... I hope you think it was garbage. <laughs> I, I mean, like, it wasn't good, but, like, I don't... Like, I don't think it was the worst movie of the year. Mm, that's well, James, you've only seen three movies this year, so... Well, I actually watched three movies just this week. Holy oh shit. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. Rattle them off. I uh, watched Lady Bird. Nice. I watched The Shape of Water and Jumanji. <laughs> the new one? Yeah. Okay, so really quickly, before we go on, there's no talking about this. James, what do you think of Lady Bird and Shape of Water? Oh, I thought you were going to ask me about Jumanji. One word. <laughs> one word? Okay. For both of them. That's and it. we're moving on to plot. What do you guys think? So what's the plot of, uh, what's the plot of uh, Predator? It's your movie. Okay, it's your movie. sure. Why don't you like just bust it down quick? Yeah, so uh, Arnie and his crew uh, need to go into the jungle to f- what to find what they think is like a a helicopter of like VIPs that strayed over the border into it's Colombia to be a or something or Venezuela. Or something, yeah, or? it's um, not clear what, what country they're in, is it? Like obviously, no, so they're America. like a banana republic. Yeah, they jumped over the border, got shot down by rebels, and they need to go rescue them and Carl Weathers is a CIA guy who's tagging along um, and then uh, they are they find themselves hunted by uh, the predator which is like a alien big game hunter that comes to earth to hunt the most dangerous game <laughs> man <laughs> which is man <laughs> yeah. Arnold yeah what I didn't get about the plot and I've seen this movie so many times and I just watched it again last night and I enjoyed every second of it but I still don't understand why the like the MacGuffin to get them into the jungle is so fucking convoluted yeah I I mean there doesn't really seem to be a reason for it other than to have some kind of conflict with uh, Dylan and Dutch right yeah Yeah. there's like the secret somebody knows something and he's not telling but the movie's not smart enough to actually like draw that tension out. Yeah, like none in of any it kind matters. of meaningful way. Yeah, it doesn't end up mattering at all. Like why? Why didn't they just? Because they they go and they find you know the helicopter that's shot down and it turns out it was like a, a group of soldiers. 
it would make more sense if he had known that it was a, there's possibly an alien killing people in the jungle. Well, why couldn't it just be they were going into the jungle because there was a group of soldiers missing and they needed to go find That's them? That's true. Like, but I'm thinking if they, if they wanted to have that tension, because then there could have actually mm. been a, like like a like a showdown between yeah, them. Yeah, and there never really is. I mean, they they kind of butt heads a little bit, and then then Dylan ends up kind of trying to redeem himself by like saving going after Bill Duke's character Mac. Mac, yeah. Which by the way, does, does, Bill not, does not work out. <laughs> does Bill Duke's not look like Uncle Fester? I, I guess, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Like if you're gonna cast you a badass Uncle Fester, if I was gonna recast Uncle Fester. I'll just recast him as I get Bill Dukes. He's got the sunken eyes, the bald head. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, man. You're going for that diverse Adams family. Why can't the Adams family be black? They can. <laughs> They're already Hispanic, aren't they, in the, in the most recent movies? I don't know. Are there new Adams family movies? Well, no, I mean, in they're, the, they're, they're, the, the new ones show, like from the, 20 years ago. <laughs> like, like the Angelica the, Houston yeah, one. The new ones that I watched when I was I didn't like say seven. the new ones, I said the, <laughs> the most, most recent. Re- Fair. Uh, you did. Did yeah. you, uh, what was, he was like Spanish. No, no, Spanish, Italian. Is he? Well, he is. Raul Julia. And, uh, oh, it was Angelica Houston, yeah. I, I don't know. Who gives a shit about Adams family? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Uncle Fester. Oh, I always prefer the Munsters. Whatever. Bill Duke is a badass. Bill and every Duke time I see him, I yeah. am pleased that this he's is, there. So, he eats our, green berets for breakfast. Oh, wait, no. That's Arnie. Never mind. Our Bill, <laughs> our, our Bill Duke counter is at two. Yeah, our, because he was in Commando. And our Arnie counter is at two. Yeah, because he was in Commando. <laughs> no, our Arnie counter is at three. It was at three because we did True Lies as well. Mm. Of course, we didn't ever put out the Commando. But coming in at so, number one, I believe, is... Uh, Huh? God damn it! What? Shane Black. What are you talking Shane about? Black. Shane Black. Yeah. <laughs> Shane Black has done been, a lot of Shane Black. I think he's. This is fourth or fifth appearance. This was actually my first exposure to Shane Black. Was this movie? Oh, like yeah. when you were? Oh yeah, when I was like, I don't know. I think I probably saw this movie when I was like ten or eleven for the first time. I don't think I ever actually realized that he was in it because I'd seen the movie many times. But then uh, you brought this up when we were talking about a different movie. Yeah. And I was like, oh, he was in Predator? I didn't actually know that. You never watched Monster Squad when you were a kid? No. Oof. I've never seen Monster Squad, actually. Well, yeah. you are missing yeah, out. Man. <laughs> I, it's a great movie. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think the reason they cast Shane Black in this, though, is because they wanted him to do a rewrite, but they didn't want to pay him. Oh, was that it? And I think it was like cheaper to pay him like the SAG minimum oh, yeah. than it was to like pay him to do a rewrite. So they're just like, why don't you be in the movie and then also punch up the dialogue a bit? <laughs> yeah, because then he'd be around set all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So are we thanking Shane Black for all the great lines? I don't know if we can sure. definitively. But sure. <laughs> like in my head, I do. But Well, he, he made up the jokes that he tells like Sonny. In the middle, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. They're great yeah. jokes. I <laughs> forgot. I forgot about those jokes. They're <laughs> they're something. They're, they're jokes. So the the, the, the plot the plot moves. I don't know. I say it starts off moving pretty quick, and then it. I think it kind of drags. Yeah. Well, they, there's for quite a while. There's very little mm-hmm. bullshit up top, and then you're in the jungle. Yeah, but then when you get like halfway through, what halfway through, you pretty much have like two prolonged montages and then the final scene you've got the montage of uh, them setting up all the booby traps yeah mm-hmm. and then you've got a montage of Arnold setting up all his own personal booby traps yeah <laughs> that's true at the end yep and I found myself like I don't know kind of bored no, really. I didn't really get bored at all I didn't I mean, feel too bored I got bored just being like oh okay so that." That's how you make a scenario. You again. didn't love yeah. the scene where they just shoot the forest for like yeah. 10 minutes? <laughs> I, I was like, this seems like an overreaction for <laughs> trained soldiers. But maybe that's you're supposed that's supposed to speak to how un- unnerved they are by this uh, invisible thing. Well, in, in that scene, it's actually kind of interesting, too, because they uh, build the Mac. He does wound the predator in that scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the captive, uh, Anna is the only one who notices the blood. Yeah, I thought that was weird, too. And then she like, doesn't say anything to them then because she's all, like, freaked out. She's pretending to be, like, not know English. And Well, yeah, but she's what's also, the like, point? Terrified. What's the point of her even being in the movie? So you can have a woman in the movie? Uh, to give, I think, to give the exposition about, like, how yeah. uh, the Predator comes and uh, 
hottest time of the year and hunts the men from her village. But they don't really do a good job of that either. No. It's yeah. A, it's a throwaway conversation. Like, it, it, yeah, I think it's basically to set up that it's like a trophy hunter. But you kind of get that anyways from it collecting skulls and shit. Yeah, yeah get, I guess. But yeah. I honestly didn't really get that. Like... It took quite a while for me to finally get that that's what, what was going on. Oh, yeah. I, I got there was some weird, when he's, like, watching everyone, I'm trying to figure out what is he trying to do. Because it's, like, he'll target certain people but not other people. So it's, like... So if they have a weapon, if they don't have a weapon, he won't he won't kill them. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, like, uh, after they massacre all those people in that camp... Right. It's called War Asshole. <laughs> okay, sorry, War. After they massacre, well, they do kind of massacre all them. They do, yeah. It's, just, it's horrible. It's, it's a horrible thing that they do. After they do war on the camp. So. It's so bad, I'm surprised that Stallone didn't pop up to do it himself. <laughs> so, after war happens, <laughs> he's watching He's watching them and yeah. how they're interacting. He's and, recording them to their voices and stuff. Yeah, but almost to, be, to see... It's like he's targeting only, like, the really bad or the really, um, I don't know. I didn't think that. I just thought he was... I don't know. I, like, I suppose, I just, he's just observing them. Well, and but, record, he uses audio of one of their voices later to, like, fool. But I don't think yeah. James is actually yeah. wrong, though. I mean, like, there there is possibly a methodology to why he's killing them off in the order he does. Because there are times when he could, like, kill one or another, and he decides to kill one. Sure. Like in the scene when he kills, but his, his plan is to kill them all. Like it is, but yeah. like I think what James is saying is, like he's obviously going in an order. Yeah, he's going in like an order, I guess. Well, yeah, he's just picking whatever who he thinks is weakest or is going to be easier to do. Right? Yeah, but he, he kills off Sonny. Is it no Billy? Uh, Billy. Billy. He kills off Billy when he's like completely wounded. He could have killed Arnold, which would have been the smart play. No, he kills Richard Chavez. Yeah, he kills uh, Poncho. Poncho, sorry. Yeah, he kill, Billy because Billy pulls out the machete and like cuts that's his yeah, chest, right. and he's gonna. Yeah, so he kills Poncho, but he really should have killed Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, maybe that's his sporting. The sporting nature of him is he's leaving his uh, what he figures is his. Yeah, and that's what James was saying. Yeah. I think he's he's like he he has a an order he's moving in. But I mean, you're supposed to get all of this. He has a kind of code that he's hunting by. I I guess. I guess he's supposed to get all of this from like he ne- like he doesn't speak or anything, right? So no, he you're supposed to yeah, he clicks <laughs> clicks and <in> doors. <laughs> so, but you're supposed to get all this from his actions throughout the movie and how he observes and all and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that works. I would think trophy. So show like, me, for, don't tell me. Yeah, I know, but he's like trophy hunting. I. Well, there's that scene where he like pulls out uh, yeah. spinal cord. Come on, Blaine's, that's great. <laughs> Blaine's spine and like hits it with the it's like, yeah, that's sub zero. He's, like polishing that's skulls, and you can see he's got like like Bill Duke's skull and a couple yeah, others yeah. like in his bag and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Does anybody, does anybody have a favorite scene that like there? The scene that like stands out as like good or bad or interesting in some way, but for some reason sticks in their brain. Yeah, I always liked uh, when. Uh, like the very end when Arnold is uh, fighting the Predator, yeah. Like that kind of last battle is always good, and like like from like when he figures out that like oh can only see through heat vision and stuff. Like I like that scene is really good actually. Yeah. yeah when he mud. like yeah like just like crawl out of the river. I don't think that's how heat vision works by the way, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's the, yeah. It plays in this movie. So there's something at the end I I don't really get when he's like scanning. And he has him pinned against the rock. I guess Arnold's covered in mud. Yeah. But it looks like he scans his skull. Yeah, I don't see, understand that. He sees that. some heat signature over it, and he blasts, and it turns out to be some, like, little critter that's over there. No, but isn't no, there... No, and he's, like, holding, he's holding like Arnold barrier? up against a uh, tree, oh, and yeah. he, like, he, he seeks his, like, fucking head. Maybe he's, like... Sick. Oh, at the end of the tree, though, but he's gone through the river, and the mud is all off of him at that point. But he's... Like, but, I just don't understand that scene. Isn't he holding him against a rock or has him against a rock? And he he scans his skull and you can see his skull, right? Yeah. But then he doesn't, like, kill him right there. No, he takes his shit off. He takes his stuff off because he wants him to to see him before he 
kills and finishes him off. He wants to fight a man. I, I think that at that point, what you're supposed to understand is is that the predator sees him as a worthy adversary. So he's gonna like relinquish his weaponry and stuff and fight him like yeah, mano a mano, beast, kinda. beast yeah. to beast. He's earned that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Was this invented? Like, was the design of Predator was it H.R. Giger? No. Uh, Stan Winston. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He James based Cameron. it on like a Jamaican warrior painting or something that he had. Yeah, apparently James Cameron was sitting next to him on the plane, and he's like, "It'd be really cool if someone had like dreadlocks." I hate James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is not the he first looks time. Fucking great. What, is, what do you mean? Cameron, I mean? Cameron sucks. We're so excited for Avatar. Uh. <laughs> Is uh, Avatar, all is Avatar, five Avatar is sequels. Is Avatar an action movie? Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. I don't want is to. Is somebody going to make me watch that movie? No. I'm definitely not going to be picking that. And it, I'm seems like, it seems like we have to get to it eventually. I'm not... Well, yeah. It's like fucking 2043. We can well, do it. By then, hopefully, you'll have all of them. You can... We can just do You can do a Avatar marathon. Month. Yeah. yeah. It's not like I don't think he's a great filmmaker. I get it. I just... Ugh. <laughs> anyway, The Predator... It looks fucking awesome to me. Like, the reveal when he takes off his shit. He looks so sweet. <laughs> his fucking weird fang, mouth, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah, it's definitely interesting looking. I kind of wish I could see the final version of what the original creature was supposed to look like. With... Oh, it looks real dumb. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the behind I've, the scenes? I've seen the behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, shit. With Jean-Claude Oh, yeah, because Jean-Claude was the, was the predator before, for a few days or something. How, how tall was that predator? Like five foot four? Yeah, exactly. That's why... He... Yeah, but he has like this extension like in the costume. Yeah, it has like a cool. long neck a with long like neck. some like pincer type things going on. It, it looked oh, pretty... <laughs> Really fucking I up. Why would this up. movie would not be as highly regarded as it is if so, they had stuck with that. <laughs> John, oh, yeah. oh, definitely. Why not. was John Claude? Like, why would he be in a movie where he's in a bodysuit? Well, entire exactly. Time? He had a problem. Well, he with wasn't that super. At the end. He wasn't really all that famous at the time, but also, uh, they wanted somebody who was going to be able to do sweet, like, athletic maneuvers, right, in the suit. But yeah, but you imagine him trying to fight. Like doing round yeah, with that. Yeah. <laughs> so here's like, like, this is my this is my, it would have been hilarious. There's a question Bot I have. Buns. I, I have the same <laughs> The sweet we, sweet we, buns. We would have seen his buns. <laughs> those those it's in his contract. It's in his contract, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh this is my question I had to, for turtles too though, was like, why don't they just get stunt people to do everything? Well the wasn't weren't th- all the turtles played by stunt guys, but then they're vo- just voiced by no. Voice they actors? were played by actors. There were there was actors in the suits, and there were stunt people doing the stunts. Oh, I didn't realize that. And then three of them were voiced by different people, right, and only Ra- by, only yeah. Raphael was voiced by the actor who portrayed him. Right. Oh, so really? pretty much, yeah. So pretty much, like most of them had like Leonardo, um, Donatello, and Michelangelo had three people playing them. I didn't realize the people in the body suits. The- weren't the ones doing the stunts. I didn't realize that either until I watched the movie and I did some research into it. But because I was, I watched it, listened to an interview with, um, um, I was there too on the podcast. I was there too. I think it's called, um, where they have Raphael's, uh, actor and he did the voice too. And it was rare. And then they were like, did you do the, the stunts and the fighting? And he's like, no, fuck that. Like I didn't do any of that shit. Weird. Why, why bother having actors, to be the turtles, but not be just the stunt I don't know. People. But that's the same question I have for for this. Is like, why not just have a stunt person? Well, eventually they did. I know from yeah. the beginning, just do. Well, who? So who, like, played Predator? Oh, Kevin something. I can't yeah. remember his name right now. So like, he's got how, three names. How he's tall the, is he's the, the chopper Kevin, pilot at Kevin the end Peter of the movie? Hall. Kevin Peter Hall. He's a French like, guy. At the end of the movie, when they're leaving, and the, oh, there's no. that black he's definitely not chopper not. pilot. That's him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because isn't he like really tall? He's super yeah. tall. He, I think he he died pretty young too. Thirty five. Oh, yeah, but he was in Predator one and two. I think he was the predator. So was Anna. She's in two. She's no, in two. she's in two. I forgot that. I haven't seen two Is for she? a long yeah. time. Yeah, she's the connecting thread. Oh, because she's the only one that came back. And two is also where uh, Danny Glover goes into a room where the predators have been, and there's like a. A xenomorph yeah, skull a alien, from Alien. The alien so that's skull. how they got those started getting connected. So, do you have a favorite scene? A scene that stands well, out. Well, I would have said you? the same too as the final well, finale, that. the final showdown. But um, I'm trying to think what else is really great. Um, 
Well, when they first discover the mutilated corpses of the guys in the jungle, that's pretty cool. I remember as a kid, that, that part was like, oh, fuck. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Did you notice um, the name of the uh, the soldier that they find is, is Jim Hopper? Yeah. Wait, what, yeah. Is, what is that? Why should I know that's, that? That's the name of the sheriff in Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. Is oh. that just a coincidence? I don't know, but I feel <laughs> um, like the Duffer Brothers are probably like... Just throwing 80s shit in there? 80s yeah. savvy enough to know that... Yeah, that could be. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have my favorite scene? Not favorite, just one that stands out. Um, I mean, uh, the war scene. <laughs> <laughs> you really really got your fucking rocks off on that one, eh? Got your well, dick hard? <laughs> yeah, it really got my dick hard. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. I don't know. Why are you trying to be sarcastic about it instead of enjoying it so much? Because <sighs> I'm not supposed to enjoy that. <laughs> it definitely sta- That scene definitely stands out. It's yeah. just it's just straight up violence. That's all it is. Yeah, that's like the first fucking real action in the movie. Yeah. Well, the, start like when he lifts the truck off the, the blocks yeah. and... <laughs> <laughs> it's got to flex his muscles, and then everything just starts blowing up, and they just there's some randomly big, big ass explosions. Oh yeah, in that scene. The whole lead up to that scene is really good, though. Like, oh yeah, the, it's slither, all slithering down. It's the... all really like tied together. Like each shot leads into the next shot. Yeah, yeah. And it just cuts to B unit. You do get the geography of the of yeah. the base in your mind. Yeah, and then the only other, other than like the end scene, but uh, another scene that sticks out to me for some reason is when he's running away he like falls onto like some slip and slide and goes down the mountain yeah. I just felt like when it Arnold, was oh, when Arnold's running yeah. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah it felt like it was, I was like am I watching Jingle All the Way in the jungle or am I watching Predator right well, now well it's just like it it turned into like a, almost an Indiana Jones kind of it was like, kind of a thing in the 80s to have a scene where someone slides like, whoa, down whoa 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then like right he's like, Indiana oh, Jones. shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, they also use a, a specific shot, and Aaron probably knows more about this than I do. Throughout the entire film, they use, like, um, I'm not saying they're fixed cameras to the body, but, like, cameras of, like, in front. They're in front of you, of the, of the actor, while they're, like, moving towards, running towards it, and it moves with them. Oh, yeah. And they use that, like, multiple times. There's some interesting, like, shot stuff in the film, I thought. Yeah, well, McTiernan was... He was a pretty good director, I mean, yeah, for a while, yeah. anyway. <laughs> I'm not saying that they were, like, like amazing, like, wow, that's, who, how'd you think of that one? It was just like, oh, this seems different than the rest of the film shots type thing. Yeah. But, yeah. I know John McTiernan hates that, uh, the war scene. Oh, yeah. Because it was, it was, like, all, um, like, second unit, pretty much. And he's like, it's all it's so boring. It's all mm-hmm. just like locked off cameras and like shots of. It's not super dynamic. Stuntmen mm-hmm. getting blasted into the air and. So it's like a lot of cuts to yeah, yeah. A tower blows up, guys go flying out. Yeah. Out of that area gets blown up, guys fly out. Yeah. I like the scene where uh, I think is the scene when Mac gets killed. Is that the first time we see the alien vision, the predator vision, with the the triangle? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, dots. yeah. The three dotted the laser yeah, sight. Yeah, I like I like that. That stands out to me because I was like, yeah. it's really iconic. It, I, I think it looks really cool the way they do it. Um, I don't understand quite how it looks like he gets his fucking face blasted off. It's a gnarly <laughs> kill. Eh? Yeah. It's a gnarly kill because he's like the back of his the head explodes, whole head, yeah, like blows out. Yeah. But um, but then it shows his face later. And yeah, it doesn't Dylan, look to be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Carl Weathers can see him. He's yeah. like, and then Carl Weathers gets his arm shot off. And tries to be like, and it's just, it's just tucked man. into his vest. And the other thing that really stands out for me is um, when they're doing the montage, when they're all like working together to like create traps for the predator. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's pretty much like a butched out version of the volleyball <laughs> scene from <laughs> Top Gun. Some big muscles, some big sweaty it's muscles. It's just like sweaty dudes like working and like <laughs> pulling trees down, and like everybody's got their shirts off, and it's just like. It's so it, it's such muscle porn. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, yeah. That was kind. Of, I'm pretty sure that's an Arnold's contract too. Is like oh, there needs yeah. to be at least five scenes where I can flex my <laughs> muscles really big. Yeah. 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 Like him and Jesse Ventura were competing. 
yeah, like all yeah. the time to see who could get bigger arms and stuff. And who would show up to work out first and yeah. stuff. Like yeah, so. and Arnold would like fuck with him. He, uh, what did he do? He told Wardrobe to tell. Uh, he, yeah, he made Wardrobe oh, yeah, yeah, make his clothes told, smaller. No, oh, no he, he told Wardrobe to tell Jesse Ventura uh, like a different number for the size of his biceps. And so, then they and then they measured Jesse Ventura's uh, arms, and he's like, "Oh shit, I'm like three inches bigger than Arnold." Oh, okay. And then and then so then Arnold was like, "Oh, we should uh, we should bet on like whose arms are bigger." And, yeah. <laughs> and then he <laughs> and then they measured, and Arnold's was like three inches bigger than than Jesse the Ventura's. And, man, I bet that was hard for him to deal <laughs> yeah. with. I kind of have a I kind of love Jesse Ventura in this movie. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Well, he has so many great lines. Is are any of his lines like your favorite quotes, or does any of his lines stand out? Yeah, I mean, one of his first lines is probably the best line in the movie, but I'm not sure we should use it. Well, you can use it. Just say it. Just well, let's just listen to off. it. Let's just listen to it for a second. Get that stinking shit out of my face. Bunch of slack-jawed faggots around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Strap this on your sore ass plane. <laughs> but yeah, that line always cracks me up. It's just he delivers it so great. And he has a he has another one too, though. Son of a bitch is dug in like an Alabama tick. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. This movie is like loaded with some some great A. Yeah, there's lots of good lines, lines in this one. Yeah. Stick around. Stick around is good. <laughs> yeah. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah. When the big man was killed, you must have wanted it. Its blood was on the leaves. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah. If it bleeds, if we can kill it, I think is... That line stands out as being above everything else, as being yeah. such an iconic... But get to the chopper. Get to the yeah. chopper. So, uh, he says that twice. That, so yeah. No, he does not yeah, say, he it does twice. say it twice. No, but one time he, he says, says it, it. He says it more than twice. <laughs> yeah. And my favorite line is a montage, or is it, is just like a cut up of all of the times. He, he says it like four times. It's like he says, "Get to the chopper, move to the chopper, run to the chopper, let's go to the chopper." The chopper. The chopper. Yeah. Chopper. <laughs> yeah, those are my. But favorite the one lines. time is like the yeah. real. Yeah, the, the one time is the real time. <laughs> You one ugly motherfucker. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. You one ugly motherfucker. Yeah, there's quite a few good ones. And then of course you got Shane Black's <laughs> hilarious <laughs> <laughs> jokes. <laughs> yeah. So I think that I guess that was plot. <laughs> well, we kind of went into quotes yeah. there. No, uh, we've moved through. Uh, are you talking about where we are right yeah, now? Yeah, where are we at with everything? Oh, we're on. Um, sorry, lap. Uh, we've moved through plot. We've moved through um, pacing. We've moved through. We're moving through we quotes. Did, well, I guess yeah. we kind of did pacing. Yeah, we didn't really talk. We just said if, like, if oh. we're, yeah, we're talking plots of pacing for a second. Something I noticed this time around watching the movie is that it kind of breaks like most of the rules of like good writing <laughs> like good screenwriting like all of the characters are completely flat one dimensional you have no reason to like any of them uh there's there's no real antagonist like motivation the plot is is literally just like uh, you need to not get killed, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're, you're there survival. and something's trying to kill you. Yeah, but there, there's like, there's no... Well, you get the impression that... Uh, but somehow it works. Yeah, you yeah. get the impression that Dutch has some kind of, like, honor. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. He's he's not going to do that kind of job or whatever. Yeah. Although I'm not sure why our guys that are, like, some elite military squad are allowed to turn down orders for certain jobs. No, my team doesn't handle that kind of... Yeah, yeah. A moral kind of quandary. But yeah, like I feel like this movie came out today, it would just get like shredded by like video essayists on YouTube. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, oh, it doesn't. There's no sympathetic characters, and there's no, you know. Well, there's enough. Like, nothing drives the plot forward, and <laughs> interplay like between the characters leading up to stuff that you at least kind of like. Oh, these these guys are kind of fun. It does not pass the Beck the Beck, Beckdale test, Beachdale test. <laughs> no. Beckdale, no. <laughs> Beckdale. I don't know. Like, I don't. 
I don't know if you could do get that because at the beginning when the guys are there, I don't know if these guys actually even like each other. Like, that's the impression uh, I get. Yeah. Hold on a second. I think that Mac and Blaine really like each other. <laughs> yeah. I They're don't... very good friends. I, no, think, I think that they, they are very good friends. They remember some very important nights that they spent together in the jungle. Yeah. I get the impression they're like a tight crew of naked of friends. Sex. <laughs> yeah, got it. this makes Cambodia um, looks like Kansas, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they like allude to past jobs together, and like Dutch is like got a you know he's got this thing he's got to protect his guys, and Carl Weather Dylan's got them into this shit where it's like well, you've put my team at risk. Like he, he clearly cares about the welfare of them and all that. Yeah. So. Like I get that all of them play their role, and like you know. This guy's the tracker, and this guy's the, I don't know, well, the guy with the big gun. <laughs> this guy's the... <laughs> yeah, he's the guy with the big gun. You know I'm what I mean? Sure like, I'm pretty sure that's what Max said to Blaine. <laughs> I'm <laughs> that night in Cambodia. Bring out old Painless? Yeah. <laughs> What an impractical weapon to <laughs> lug through the jungle. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Looks fucking sweet, though. It does look sweet. <laughs> were, there, um, were there a lot of tropes that oh, this you guys is, saw? This was like Tropes the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, what ones that stood out to you, Dustin? Well, I mean, you got the whole... Well, I like the reverse predator thing they do at the end where then Arnold becomes the... The predator hunter guy. The hunter becomes the hunted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the, the first time they meet uh, Carl Weathers, Arnold and him do like the handshake, son of a bitch. arm wrestle. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Who's stronger? Arnold, yeah. of course. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good. Yeah. That's like classic action movie. Like, oh, it's filmed yeah. so funny too. Just yeah. like the two arms, the two sweaty <laughs> arms. <laughs> just. You know what's filmed funny is the uh, at the end of the movie when they. You know, it, the movie's over and they're do, they're writing the credits and it's like starring and it's like yeah. oh, it's like it's like, like all their photos. It's like a sitcom. It's, like a, it's <laughs> a horror movie, like like yeah, like everybody's like kind of looking at the camera and smiling like, hey, hey, I was mad. Yeah, like hey, like, <laughs> throw me a gun. Like I'm Dylan. <laughs> yeah, it is a funny. Yeah, it was like really like oh, it's this like is a weird little bell. cherry yeah. that we're I, putting on top of this Sunday. I honestly think that end uh, where they roll the credits and they show everyone, it would have been better if they showed clips of their final like scene in the movie. <laughs> them so, it, so it's like them dead and yeah. then them coming back and like, hey, oh. you know, like. I thought it was like a headshot. <laughs> they should have had the predator at the end too, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a predator. And then it's like putting his hands in the air and like, 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 like you know, like, Putting the, I'm doing an action on the podcast. And put it for like, oh, you guys. Like, oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, this is a pretty trope heavy. Pretty trope heavy movie. There's all kinds. You, yeah. the, you got the mystical Native American tracker guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. I was going to say, it's a pretty diverse cast, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everybody's got... definitely playing their stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you've got a mix of people on some. Yeah, I mean... But still, <laughs> I mean, it could have just been like ten white guys. But so, what's Hawkins supposed to be in in this group? The guy who dies first. Yeah, he's the nerd. <laughs> I thought yeah, I mean, he's, he's the radio the, guy. Oh, he's the radio yeah, guy. Yeah, he's the radio. radio guy. Oh, yeah. They always make the guy with the the nerd the, the radio glasses, guy. Yeah. Okay. I seem to remember him packing up like a little like dish kind of thing at one point. Oh, okay. Three quarters of the movie they use that dish. Do they? Yeah, Carl Weathers does it to call the helicopter, and they send it right. too far out still. All oh, right. I'm trying to think of some other tropes. Well, you've got uh, the the betrayal thing between Dylan and Dutch, or whatever. Uh, that's such fucking horseshit, though. Like that's such a weak. Like Aaron, Aaron was totally right. It's such a weak storyline. Well, it just doesn't end up serving a purpose, really. Yeah. Like they don't. It doesn't follow through to anything. Well, they it's not really yeah. that believable, either. How do you mean? Well, like, they're really that upset at each other over that. Like, he lied to him, man. He put yeah, his men in danger. They don't talk for, like, five minutes. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. Well, there's such a quick turnaround it's, 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 that it doesn't end up having any real but, well, impact. Yeah. But then Dylan is like, no. I'm going to save Mike. Gonna, I'll go after Mac. He does a great job, too. Because Mac ends up actually saving him temporarily. When he's like puts his hand on her shoulder and like pulls him into the dark, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, speaking that's of great, another trope. Speaking of great lines, though, actually going back for a sec, was this Mac to Dylan, and he's like, your ghost nest, motherfucker. <laughs> he's like, if you, make, if you give away our position again, I'm going to bleed you out. <laughs> You know how like they all have like their own gun too, like yeah. they're, they're not like <laughs> we don't use standard uh, issue nothing. Yeah, you know, this is another thing that ex- always bothers me. <laughs> but it it's you know it gives everyone a, a look right. So That's how you can gonna... identify them by their gun. Well, they're it's, they're a cross between like a video game character like a. Well, they're like GI Joe characters. Yeah, they are. They're Contra. Yeah, that's true. They all come with their own gun, their own outfit, it's their very, own everything. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that if the action figure line comes out, <laughs> yeah. oh, he got, he's got his. Right, his rocket launcher machine gun. He's got his little submachine gun, whatever. Blaine's got his MTV T-shirt on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was yeah. there action? Was there an action figure line for original Predator? Oh, movie? probably. Yeah. If there was a character that was should have been wearing an MTV T-shirt, though, it should have been uh, Shane Black. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's what makes the most sense. But again, he was just the guy that dies first, so. <laughs> They didn't give him his own gun. Him and Carl Weathers had the same. They had both had the MP5. Oh, that's right, yeah. Actually, and then Poncho, doesn't he have like two of them at one point in the movie? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I, gave you a, sorry, I, just, I just gave you a look at Aaron re- respond to it, because he said they both have the MP5. Yeah. And then you were like, oh, yeah. And I was like, fuck you. Who fucking knows what gun it is? Sorry. MP5. Oh, it's like a. Oh, it's like a, it's actually a uh, 1995 Beretta. It's um, a. It's a gun that's used in like a million movies. Yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in a lot of video games. Do you too. ever notice that stuff, James? Narc. No. <laughs> it's like something that goes completely over my head. I don't know what. Like, well, I was more into guns when I was young too. So I, yeah. An AK-47. It's an MP5. Um, we all know they have a bump, a bump stock on it. I'm just now I'm just. Stuff I heard in the news. Uh, I don't know. They didn't gonna... have any bump stocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think no. He does. Uh, Carl Weathers has two of them at the end because I think he takes oh, he Shane, one, Shane yeah. Black's. Yeah. Is, well, oh, oh yeah, because when he gets his arm shot off, then yeah, he goes to the other one. He has two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He has like a lot like, of cross oh, chest. Did you love it when he gets his arm shot off and then his arm is still pulling the trigger yes. and shooting <laughs> the gun yeah. as it's flopping on the ground? That's another trope. Yeah, it's called science, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite kill? <laughs> no one says anything. Uh, I like um, I like when Jesse Ventura gets his chest blown out. Yeah, I mean all the well, kills are pretty good. Okay, yeah. I know that's personal. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite kill is James's is the uh, all the innocent people getting shot. <laughs> no, it's actually it's the pig. Yeah, I love that kill too, because it's like so dark outside. All he knows is that there's this monster out there, and he's like, imagine him like he's like in the woods, like, the woods, the jungle, <laughs> so Canadian. So uh, he's in the jungle, and he's just like stabbing this boar to death, not knowing what, what it is. Well, they even made like, it. I killed you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Well, they even made it sound kind of like the predator too, right? Like yeah. they made those sounds. Yeah, it's just so or intense. Did the yeah. predator make himself sound like the boar? Oh my god! What? Yeah. I took that script and I flipped it. Thank uh-huh. you. You're welcome. I also do like the the stick around. Yeah, stick around is good. I like the. But that's uh, more for the line. I think I like the uh, the Bill Duke getting killed scene. Yeah, that one's pretty pretty gory. It's pretty gory. It's pretty good. Um, was, which one was I thinking of? I love Billy's death because you don't see it. No, I yeah, I guess Max is probably the best. The Dylan was. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, it's not even technically a kill, but when he rips out the the, sen- the spinal cord and the skull. Yeah. yeah. We can pretend he's alive, if that makes <laughs> it better. It does. It makes it so He's actually better. still alive. He has a, it's pulse. It's weak. Very weak. <laughs> they just, he... just kind of got rid of Richard Chavez real fast, didn't they? Like, you just get yeah. shot in the head and done. Like, yeah, his just, head doesn't explode. They're just nothing. carrying him, and then yeah. he's killed. As they're trying to escape, right. yeah, he really serves nothing other than. Well, I mean, I mean he, well, you he, gotta have you gotta have guys well, so that like, can a, get killed. Yeah. he probably should have had punctured lungs. Well, he yeah, he was dumb enough to get hit by his own log yeah. trap. Man, when the predator <laughs> gets hit with that log from the top, mm-hmm. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> That's a not bad kill. I mean, it's more of a suicide than a kill. Well, he's not really after dead that, either. After that, yeah. Well, when the predator actually dies. Yeah. When, yeah. He's, when he's laughing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Was he? I was wondering when I watched it this time. I never thought about it before. Was he? Was he? Like, is that how the predator laughs, or is he imitating the I, laughter he recorded earlier? I, I think it was. Think he's I think it was imitating it. Yeah, it's Billy's laugh yeah, from okay. when, he, I, when he tells the, That's much cooler. The joke, the hilarious. Yeah. Second joke that he right. tells. He's like, I don't have, actually have emotions, but you do. <laughs> Listen to your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the predator. <laughs> Oh, it's like psych psychological. Yeah, because like he's, he's like, with him. you might have survived, but you're going to have some goddamn damage. You're going home with some post-traumatic stress. I don't believe for one second Dutch has any post-traumatic stress. <laughs> no, fucking Dutch got on that fucking chopper and he fell asleep. <laughs> His job well he was done. like, ah. I mean, to he be was fair, a, he's he probably up for like sleeping. three days was, straight. No, I'm saying like eventually. Like, oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like he's like, he doesn't give a shit. I read a thing, and I don't know how true this is, but I read something after that he's supposed to have radiation sickness because of the Predator's bomb afterwards. And then I guess there's some comic or something, a storyline where he, uh, they're going to like uh, interrogate him afterwards and hold him to f- figure out what happened. And he escapes, and then he's like never seen again but or something. But then he turns into yeah. a Predator? <laughs> and then he turns into the Predator in Predator 2. No. I, think, I think it was one, yeah, one of the comics... Like his brother is supposed to be like a like a New York cop. Oh, okay. And then they basically just moved it to L.A. and John McClane to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> to and L.A. It sounds familiar. Oh, wait a second. Does does he have possible family in Washington D.C.? Just the faxes. Unknown. Just the faxes, <laughs> just the man. Fa- just the faxes. Uh, yeah. Then they just they basically just like took that and set it in L.A. and cast Danny Glover. Yeah, I'm like this is Predator a strange Two now. Choice, Danny Glover. He wasn't really like thought of as like. I mean, like he's in the Lethal Weapons, obviously, but I still didn't really think of him as like an action star. Well, and he's not really <laughs> like he's like he's fine in that movie, but he's very out of place. Yeah, it's been. I, I'd like to do that one eventually because it's been a really long time since I. Yeah. Predator Two. Yeah. So yeah, you're more than welcome to choose it, man. How many, pre- how many gonna... predators are there? And four. Two. Predator, Predator Two, Predators. And there's the Predator coming out soon, yeah. and, and, and then you have Alien vs Predator and Alien vs Predator Requiem. Yeah, Requiem. Which is, I haven't seen that. Is one. Predators the one where there's like two different kinds of yeah, species it's the, of the predators? One with Adrian Brody. Yeah, yeah. No, and the, Walton fucking Goggins. Yeah, <laughs> I watched that in the theater. Yeah, I did too. I, I really like that one actually. I remember liking it. Yeah. yeah. As Lawrence Fishburne shows up. Doesn't it have the guy from the 70s show in it? To- yeah. Yeah, Tover Grace. Tover yeah. Grace. Yeah. 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 He's one of the predators yeah, that's alluded to in the title. Just, yeah. He's a predator? He's a, he's not an alien. He's a he's like a killer. He's, oh, like right. a, I remember. he's a doctor who's like a... Yeah. It's supposed quick, to be a quick plug for my show, though. We're doing Predator 2. Uh, whenever the... I think it's September or August or something like that. Whenever the new Predator comes out. Is that when it's coming out? Predator on the corner, yeah. man. Yeah, we're, we're on the corner. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> so in September, <laughs> September. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, okay. cri- hopefully, crisis. You don't know. Will. Someone could just be listening yeah. to this. Well, that's true. Yeah. In yeah. September, back that's to school. True. Predator two time. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask a couple questions, trying to mix things up a yeah. little bit. Do you guys think there is a scene in this movie? Is there a scene that you would put in this movie, or a scene that you would take out of this movie to make it better? Uh, I mean, I would take out slash change like the setup a little bit, yeah, just to make it less convoluted. And so right. just just have yeah. them like be the CIA strong. Yeah, just have them like be looking for missing Marines or something like that, or Green Berets or whatever, instead of whatever bullshit they were actually doing. And it would have been cool to have a scene where you see the Predator's ship, like maybe he has to go into it to get something or whatever, just to like condoms I mean, or. Some water. Yeah, condoms, yeah. Some domes. Well, I was wondering, I was thinking about this too. When, I was thinking about this when we were watching it too. I was like, what does the predator eat? Like, I don't think he's supposed to be eating he the... eats your fucking fear. I don't think he... <laughs> that's what he feeds off of. I think he just drinks the blood. I don't know. Yeah. And does he? <laughs> Why wouldn't they show that? He probably he probably brought some stuff with him. Some, he's got some, some jerky. Some TV dinners. <laughs> he's actually a paleo, eh? <laughs> well, I don't know. That suit is pretty intense, right? It's probably pumping Like when he takes his nutrients. mask off, there's all that... Yeah. <laughs> Pressurization. So, you know, maybe he's got a tube down his throat feeding him. Could be, I guess. Up his dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to the dick hole. You guys, huh? thought, of, you guys thought of everything. I wonder if he has a dick. 
hey, maybe on his planet that's how they, you know, up the dick that's hole. How they eat. <laughs> like when you're a baby, you guys could Woo. up the dick hole. If they were if they were making this movie today, you know, they would have added like a scene where he pulls out his wallet or something like Dutch, like pulls out his wallet and he's got like a picture of like Blake Lively in there and he's like, oh man, can't wait to get home to her. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he's got that. Like, he's got that. Like it's a leather wallet. Yeah, it's got like, that, that condom ring. It's like <laughs> always beaten into every like leather wallet they have. Where it's like. <laughs> <there's>, like... <laughs> Um, like I'd like a, a I'd like a scene um, like in Heat where the Predator and Dutch like, <laughs> met up <laughs> meet at the river for a glass of like for some water because they're both thirsty, but they like like talk <laughs> and then they like go back to their own little nests, and then uh, you know the, and then all the tomfoolery happens with. It seems traps. to be a common theme with you that yeah. you want that <laughs> type of scene in movies. That's my plan. Every movie I want the Heat scene. Uh, in that uh, it's like or one of those like midnight it's Christmas Eve during World War 2 and like the yeah. German soldiers and the American they play soldiers soccer or some shit <laughs> <laughs> some fucking goofy European thing <laughs> like candles like eat a goose and like play like <laughs> play some cricket <laughs> play some, yeah <laughs> I think there it, it would have been good to have a scene or change the scene where uh, when Dylan has the has Anna, and Dutch gets upset with him, that he almost is like, "Fine, I'll I'll do it myself" or something, and he leaves, and then that kind of they run into the predator somehow, but then that's when Dutch comes back in, and then they team up again or something like that would make a little more sense, maybe. Yeah. Then you could kill Anna. <laughs> she What's your no, problem with Anna, man? She serves no purpose in the movie. Uh, she's a woman. Well, like you said, she fills in some little bit of history folklore about the about the yeah. so, We didn't talk about all the like the glowing blood too much. It's pretty dope. Do you, do you want to talk about it in depth or? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty cool. I know they used uh, glow sticks. Uh, you know what it reminds they me cut of? Cut them open and use that. A little movie called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> the ooze? Oh, yeah, let's start with that again. Because <laughs> it's the same glowing ooze and it's dope. Is it the same mm-hmm. stuff? I, I guess don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it just looks, be surprised. It looks cool. I remember I was, uh, I remember one time when I was like, uh, I just graduated, 18 or 19. I was like, we went camping, a bunch of people, and I was like so fucked up. And we were at this lake, and like, I was like, like really messed up, and I was like, uh, all of a sudden, I walked over away from the group, and on the rocks and on this like stump, it was all glowing, and it was just like everything was glowing, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I like, run back to the group, and I'm like, "I found it, guys! I found it!" And like my friend Steve, like, "Come, come with me! Come with me!" And he's like, "What is it?" And I'm like, "Look, I found it!" And uh, he's like, "Holy shit!" And it was like glowing, and then somebody else comes along, and they're like, we're like, dude, check this out. And he's like, oh yeah, somebody like broke up some glow sticks and like spread <laughs> everywhere. And we're like, oh yeah, yeah. What did yeah. you think that it was? I don't know. The essence of life. I thought, thought it, was it was like I thought, thought it was it, toxic waste. Or it was the ooze. It was, the, it was the ooze. I, I don't know. I was just like, we've made a major discovery here. We, <laughs> we need top people to come down. Top to, men. Top men to come down to the lake. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Uh, it was that was a kind of a thing uh, when I was a kid, like ooze stuff or like like slime, like toys. Like I remember there was a He-Man set that had slime that you would dump over the guys and shit like that. Slime's making like a huge comeback. I mean, oh, oh yeah, now it's like a yeah, thing. Yeah, people yeah. make their own slime yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There was like a bunch of Goosebumps toys when I was a kid that oh, would yeah. like spray goop spray everywhere. Kind of if goop, everyone yeah. remembers the. The hit TV show Goosebumps. <laughs> I never yeah, watched it, but I remember it. Yeah, yeah it, 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 fuck, dude. I don't know why you're making fun of it. There was like a, like a movie that came out last year. <laughs> it was. It was Jack actually, Black. It was not bad. You watched it? <laughs> I did. I saw it. It was, it, it was on Netflix. And I was like, I'll watch it. Yeah, I saw. It. You saw it too. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. They didn't watch it. You did. Bunch of secret yeah. gooseheads in the in the crowd today. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a little. I was a little pat. Like that was after my time kind of thing so I didn't my sister I remember read all the Goosebumps books so if you were gonna what's the 
I'll ask you another question. What's the biggest strength or the biggest weakness of this movie? Hmm. Arnold. <laughs> well, Arnold. Strength, or, I mean, strength or weakness? Strength. Strength. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, the body of Ventura, is the strength <laughs> of this film. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I think it's like, it's, it's, uh, I like think it's pretty simple. I think it's a pretty simple plot, but yeah. I think it, like, it does it really well, and... I guess what more do you really need in a plot? Mad Max like, style, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's like you can have a simple plot. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something that, I mean... What if they fell in love? Nothing really stands out to me as like, oh, this is this is something terrible about the movie. Is there something you thought was like super deficient? Deficient, no. I think the, the, I think the weakness of the movie is the montages of them just building booby traps. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest strength of the movie is how aggro it all is. <laughs> yeah. I could do it, I think I could, that, if they just cut one of the montages, I could do it. With yeah, I, I think the, the montages, like, there's just, there's just too much of that. Um, but I think the, the strength is probably how shitty it was to actually make this movie with those egos and those people. Actually, I feel like is a benefit to the movie. Um, they're always, like, really, ri- except for Shane Black. <laughs> these, like, these like ripped like super strong dudes who probably were competing for like well workout wise they were definitely competing yeah <laughs> is Bill Duke that ripped no but he, he just no, he's, 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 he's wearing long just, sleeves just he's the Bill, Bill Duke has an intensity about him yeah Bill Duke I, I Bill Duke scared like would scare me I feel like <laughs> you know you done fucked it I can't always as all I can ever think of when I think see Bill Duke is the menace to society. Yeah. You know you done fucked up now. Yeah. So what's your overall uh, feeling about the movie, James? Like my... You're reading. What's your feeling? Like, what are you... Pretty good? Yeah, pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty yeah. good? <laughs> fair, fair to middling? Yeah. 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 I we, thought it was pretty good. I was entertained. It, uh... There was some good Arnold lines in it. I think this is top tier, Arnie. Yeah. Like, when you... Like, you know, I, I would probably put it after, like, the first two Terminators and, like, uh, Commando, probably. It's after I find Commando a little more entertaining. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just know, a little goofier. I think this is, no, There's I, more, I don't know, like, ridiculous lines. I and, guess with Commando, it's more, it it's definitely the the Arnie show yeah. in Commando. I think this is... Where this is a little, like, there's other characters. There's team, yeah. yeah. But I think this is better than Commando. I think it's a better made film. I think, yeah, more, I think I mean, it's more entertaining. Oh, I don't know if I think it's more entertaining. It's got better. It's got more great lines. Commando well, has well, great lines. lots this, of great lines in Commando. This movie has. I been? think it has more. More. Uh, I'm not on. saying it has. I'm not saying it has. <laughs> come on. I didn't know this was gonna Let's turn say into around a, the same level. Okay, fine. They're close. Huh. I'm saying Commando I, has better lines, straight up. I probably also would say I like Total Recall a little better. I don't know why. Total Recall is awesome. Mm. <laughs> Jason Statham. What? What? <laughs> I don't know. No. He's not even in the remake of Total Recall. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, it was Colin... Colin Farrell. I'm pretty sure, he, I'm pretty sure he directed it, though. <laughs> I almost said Colin Firth. Colin Firth. <laughs> it was Colin Firth. <laughs> it was Colin... <laughs> no, it was that's Col- the movie I It was watch. actually Colin Firth directed by Jason Statham. Look it up. It's in that alternative universe from uh, Counterpart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the version. That they got. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> they got the Colin Firth version. <laughs> they got the Colin Firth version of Total Recall. All right, well, let's just run through our uh, ratings then. All right. So, James, you, why don't you kick it off for everything? Plot. Six. Uh, seven. I gave it a... I gave it a pretty strong seven. I gave it an eight. Yeah. It was it was just it was just the setup that I had a problem with. Everything else is like it's pretty, pretty straightforward, and it doesn't really deviate from that it too all much. Works pretty well. Yeah. Kills action, James. Six. I think that I gave a six because I don't feel like the actual action sequences are necessarily all that amazing. Mm-hmm. It all works in the context of the movie, but that mass there's not like there's, yeah, the mass murder. <laughs> there's not like one sequence where I'm like, oh yeah, that's fucking awesome, awesome or whatever. But, that, that scene where they massacre the jungle, though, man, I keep I keep coming back to that one. I gave it a seven. I think. Well, I mean, I I gave everything a seven, but I, it's just a, this is a solid seven movie for me. So I gave it a nine. 
Nine. Nine. Nine. Holy Apparently shit. Apparently I really liked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When, I was doing, when I was doing this last night, I was like... A nine for action and kills? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to? I mean, dis- you want to dispute I mean, this? The, if we're th- well, yeah, if, just, if you throw kills into it, I think there's some pretty badass kills. That's in this. true. Most it's, like it's, action, it's action and kills, and the kills yeah. are pretty dope. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you guess. Bill Duke's Nothing head. is ever violent enough Fucking for James. exploding, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just thinking, like... James wants, like, an underground Asian, like, fucking snuff <laughs> like, movie. Like a Serbian film? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, kind of a holocaust. All right, so pacing? Uh, seven. Uh, I gave it an eight. I, I think I gave it seven. I can't... Yeah, remember. you gave it seven. Yeah, I, and I got seven, too. Quotes and tropes? Seven. 10. Holy fuck. What did I say? I can't read it. Hold on a second. I want to I address that for a second. <laughs> um, I'm, I gave Mad Max a 10. For quotes and tropes? Yeah. Because that movie's got like every single trope ever. Yeah, but it doesn't have that many amazing quotes. Um, it's all hearty grunting everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, sand, gun, blue. Uh. Um, seriously, you think this movie is a ten, eh? Oh yeah, couldn't have, couldn't have been better. It's got a lot of not, for classic not, that's, that's for quotes and tropes. Like it's got so many of like it the does, classic it action has a, movie. It quotes. has a lot of amazing quotes. And you got like stick got around. Great, it does have great tropes. If it bleeds, you can kill. It. We can it's kill it. A, yeah, you want ugly true. motherfucker? Like <laughs> get to the chopper. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. No, you no. It's, yeah, it's valid. <laughs> he was going to challenge you and you shut him <laughs> down. You shot me down. All right. So our final thing is just our reaction overall. Seven. Uh, nine. I think I said seven as well. And I got a seven. Which uh, leaves us with a... It should be a pretty high rating, shouldn't it? Yeah. Is it 7.3? 7.3. 7.3. So that puts it pretty high up there. That's pretty high. Yeah, it actually has it... It's tied with two other movies. So here's a question. Do all four of us vote on this now? Well, then it could get (laughs) deadlocked. Have you seen Ong Back? Yes. Have you seen Assault on Precinct 13? The original? original. Uh, Yes, once. Do you want to be a part of this decision making (laughs) process? Um. If you want me to be, I will, but just fair warning, I like Predator better than both those movies, so. Yeah. Uh. It, it, this, is your, this is your list, so I don't. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Am, I, am, I, the first, am I the first guest you've had? You are. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is tough, I'm boys. honored. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. I'm, I would put this below both of those movies. Below both? Both. I think I would put it above on back and below Assault on Precinct 13. What if we all have different (laughs) answers here? (laughs) Yeah, we have to hash this out. Yeah, I think I'd put it in the middle, too. Oh, you would, eh? Yeah. I think that wins, then. Okay, so Assault is ahead. So then it's it's the new number five, then, Predator. Yeah. Yeah. And on back, it's bumped down to six. I think that's fair. I think it's fair. Yeah. Is this like if you get like I mean obviously you guys had seen this movie before but like I haven't you've never seen it I I've uh, seen parts of it I never parts watched it. Oh, the whole okay. thing. Yeah, I don't it lots. <laughs> yeah. yeah I don't like I never watched these movies when I was a kid and I never seeped them out when I got into film like watching movies oh, okay, and stuff yeah. like that like I was more interested in watching other stuff I'm mm, really just yeah. making them so <laughs> I, yeah cause I this was like for me like when I was like 11, 12 I would just watch this movie like all the time cause I got I got really into the alien movies and then I heard I was like oh there's alien versus predator I gotta see these predator movies right. now and then so, you're much younger than us yeah so like I watched yeah, the I'm shit out of this old. movie I saw this when <laughs> there wasn't any other predator movies out <laughs> yeah so well that's awesome well, so we've done 25 movies now. How many podcasts have we put out? Uh, this will be our 17th, I think. 17th we've released? Well, we'll have Some, released. Something close to there. Uh, 16. 16. Huh. 16. Yeah. Now, if only one, anyone listened to it. If we had 16 <laughs> yeah. listeners, that'd be pretty dope. <laughs> that would be. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about our theme month? Yeah, so um, we're going to start a theme month. For March, in honor of uh, Jose Canseco. What? 
I don't know. I just, I, <laughs> this is the first person that came into my mind. Uh, we're going to do westerns for, for the month of March. And I'm kicking it off with Tombstone. I'm not a western guy. Like, I'm not an action guy. So... That's I'm, a fine choice. I'm going with my favorite Western movie of all time. I look forward Tombstone. to watching it for the millionth time. <laughs> I've watched. I'm, not, I'm serious. This is the only movie I've watched like over ten times that we've we're gonna watch. Like we've watched so far. I used to watch this movie like once a week. Yeah, I look forward to watching it. It's definitely a good watch. It's a good. I don't. Sit. You know what? I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you're on you board with Tombstone. You, you don't, don't seem, seem authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't seem on board. Get fucking... I don't know. Is there enough violence in that movie for me? <laughs> no, but... There's not enough violence. Has enough for you. There's enough Val Kilmer for you, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I don't There's, know. Do they massacre do any villages in that movie? Yeah. Yeah. There's a wedding massacre raise, right at the beginning of it. Oh, yeah. Do they raise a town? Um, so before we, uh, before we leave, you're not going to be here, obviously, Aaron, yeah. for, uh, the month of March. Do you have a favorite action movie that you would recommend before you go? A favorite, uh, sorry, yeah. I, forget, I say a favorite, uh, we just did Western? <laughs> Western? Um, yeah, uh, I really, I really like the, uh, the Coen Brothers True Grit, actually. It's a good movie. I think yeah. that's, uh, that is a good movie. pretty solid Western. Yeah, my grandpa was really big into, into Western, so... Cool. Uh, yeah, watch. Used to watch them with him all the time, but it was always like random John Wayne movies that, mm. like the Lucky Texan. I'm like I don't <laughs> know what this is. <laughs> not, even, not even like not even like the ones that are iconic. Or no, John, John Wayne gets a new horse. Just whatever was on like Turner Classic movies that day. Mm. But, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. I think you yeah. obviously you picked a great movie, our new number five. So uh, thanks for coming. Um, yeah, my pleasure, man. Uh, to everybody who's listening, uh, thank you for so much for listening. Uh, if you can, please check us out on uh, Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, the most amazing thing you can possibly do, though, is tell a friend, get them to download it, uh, give us a rating on iTunes. Um, the more people who listen, the more, you know, it means to us in our little hearts, especially James. So uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>